But when you get good at it, it becomes more delicious. I'm struggling to imagine myself putting my heart into something so artistic, knowing that it would just be eaten afterwards. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're too practical for it. I think I prefer to be on the receiving end. That's my other favourite part about it. It's something I can do that makes a lot of people happy, like, unconditionally. Everyone is always so thankful, and in that moment, you get to be, like, the bringer of joy. I don't know, it just makes me feel valued. Yeah, I guess that. So, you were able to make up with your friends today? Um, it wasn't really anything to make up with them about. We weren't fighting or anything. You weren't? Maybe I misunderstood. It only turns into a fight if I lose my cool. And that's just unnecessary drama. It only makes things worse. So, they're not going to stop? I mean, it only happens sometimes anyway. It's just the way they are, and I'm the only one who ever has a problem with it. It's not worth it. Especially since I have somewhere to go now, when I don't feel like hanging out with them. Oh, I see. The cupcake's empty foil wrapper audibly crinkles as Yuri clenches her fist. I'm glad that the situation is resolved, and that you don't have to avoid them anymore. Yeah, me too. And I don't have to bother you during your alone time anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading to catch up on. Yeah, I know that the cupcakes are basically nothing compared to all the stuff you've done for me, but it's the best I can do. So, you can have the rest of them. Natsuki grabs the box and slides it over to Yuri's feet. Yuri stares at the box, then she shakes her head and slides them back. You should save them for your other friends. But I made them for you. Natsuki's voice whines as she protests. I know, and I like them very much, exactly as you thought. You succeeded, but I know you care about making your other friends happy too. And if this is the way you know how to make that happen, then I'm not going to take it from you. No, they were for making you happy. You make me happy. You're worth more than cupcakes to some people. That's why they want to spend time with you and be your friend. Without warning, tears pour from Natsuki's eyes. She pulls her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. Natsuki? I'm such a bad person. Uh, um... Yuri stammers feeling panicked. I didn't mean to say anything bad. Natsuki shakes her head and wipes her eyes. You didn't... I just... Natsuki tries to choke back her sobs but struggles to speak through them. I just really hate myself sometimes. And it feels so wrong when you say those nice things to me. Like, I don't deserve it. I'm sorry. No, I am. I'm so difficult. And I can't think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like. And I hate myself for bothering you during lunch. I just thought it was my chance to be a good person. Like, to be nice and to do things you wrote about in that letter. I knew I tried in the club. Sayori and Monica would be super annoyed and make a huge deal out of it. You know, I think a lot of those negative things too about myself. I never felt like a good person. I always scrutinize everything I say. And later, I feel like I said all the wrong things. And I just spend so much time thinking about myself, hating myself and feeling like everyone else must hate me too. So I understand some of that through my own experience. And that's why I wanted to write the letter and express my feelings. It pained me to see those things in someone else that I saw in myself. Natsuki sniffles, Jerry rustles through her bag and pulls out some tissues, then hands them to Natsuki. Monica told me that it takes a good person to reflect on these things. The desire to improve yourself that makes you a good person, so don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people would like so... Like what? Like... Like how you're fun for people to be around. And you're not shy. And you know how to make people laugh. And you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead. And you care a lot about other people. And just a lot of things. Oh, well, now you're making me feel really embarrassed. Well, you're the one who asked. Uh, don't you think I feel embarrassed? Natsuki tries to hide a smile, and then sighs as it fades again. Every time I come here, I always think it's the last time, but then I keep coming back for some reason. Is that bad? Just really confusing. I mean, my friends and I go way back, so ditching them all the time feels like... I don't know. It feels like what? Natsuki's voice gets quiet. M maybe I'm scared that they'll get mad at me. Hmm, I really don't know what to do. She pauses. Yuri stares into the distance, tracing her eyes along the patterns of the floor tiles while she thinks to herself. What would you do hypothetically if your friends were happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for what? 
happy that your new club is making you happy. Well, that's just not a fair hypothetical. Natsuki says that with a little confidence in her voice. I always told myself that I don't rely on approval of others to be happy. And I still feel that way, but I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me feel so confused. Because I'm threatened out of the things that should make me happy. So no matter what, it's like I have to be unhappy to be happy. It's making my head hurt. That must make it really difficult to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you are. It really goes against everything I believe in, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with a lot of things. Natsuki presses her palms into her forehead and shakes her head. I know what's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortable and happy than it is to do something so scary. And to do what? You know, to end it. With them? Natsuki nods. I didn't think you were acting considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. It's just one of those things where like it's been a certain way for so long that you just get used to it. Like so much of you has gone into it. So much that it feels like that's just how your life is. And throwing it away is like throwing away such a big part of your life. It makes me feel sick to think about. Natsuki sighs. It's just really scary. It's terrifying. What are you scared of? I don't know. A lot of things. Like being alone. Not having anyone to talk to or hang out with. Not being able to replace what I have with them. And I don't want them to hate me. And I'm scared they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? Not physically, but... Yuri clenched her fists. Natsuki. What? If anyone even thinks to cause you harm... I will unleash hell upon them. Natsuki snorts in laughter. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Sorry, I was just... I like that. That's all. Oh, well I meant it. I know you did. Natsuki gives Yuri an endearing look. I needed it. Um, as the conversation lapses, Natsuki again slides her box of cupcakes over to Yuri. Just take them, okay? I don't, I don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? Natsuki nods. I'm sure. I will then. I'll enjoy them. Natsuki looks away, but a feeling of warmth spreads through her. She holds on to that feeling, knowing it will give her courage. Ah, you're here first today. Um, and you brought reading material. Mm-hmm. Natsuki is sitting in her usual spot, this time holding a volume of manga while her lunch sits behind her. Yuri sits down as well and opens her own book. It sucks when a good series has to come to an end. Like, it's such a big part of your life, and then one day, there's just nothing left. Me, I don't know why, but that, that just hit me in the feels, holy sh**. <laughs> That's so true, man. You just watch a show, or like, know a show, or you've been watching it for so long, and then it's out. Like, basically, the last time I felt that is when I watched Naruto. Like, the full, like, Naruto binge, man. Holy sh**. Like, the day I was on the final episode, was like, man, I'm finally glad this is over, but it's so weird that it's gone now. Hey guys, welcome back to DDLC Plus, where today we'll be continuing the story by, uh, going to self-love part one and clicking into it and we're gonna go into it just like this you know how it do and how it be it's only been one day since yuri's letter was delivered to natsuki with monica's 